All right, Metro Boomin's new album, Heroes and Villains, drops this Friday, as you probably know, but he's dropped a short film to kind of tease it. Now, I was unsure whether or not I wanted to react to it, because you know me, I like to go into these albums fresh. I don't want to hear too much. But you guys on my Twitter were saying, no, John, you've got to react to it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, by the way. Just John Denton. It's just my name. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Fingers crossed. It doesn't get blocked. Let's react to the Heroes and Villas short film. New Metro Boomin album. I think it's going to be special. Right, let's do this. A storm is brewing in Metropolis. Nice. For years. Now, I had seen that Morgan Freeman was involved, so, I mean, levels. Boomin has protected the city from the unrelenting threat of evil. But the light of the Boominati headquarters, once a beacon of hope, has gone dark. In Metro's absence, villains rise. This is fire. <laughs> Metropolis is on the brink of chaos. A powder keg ready to ignite. It's a play. Not written very well. All right, this is the, this was the right decision. It was the right decision to do this, and it was the right decision from you guys to ensure that I did this. Imagine not watching this first. But it's a play anyway. That's why I rely on you lot. You know I do. He needs Gunner, Thug, <laughs> free him. We <laughs> live, right now? Yes. yes. <clears throat> this just saying, um, we're gonna send this to 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 local reporters down there at the. I've seen a fucking crime. <laughs> Shit is shot like the Batman as well with those filters or the Moody Browns. Come on. Damn. Right there, no expenses spared. I just reacted to the 21 and Nas track that should be on the channel right now, or if not, we're going to do that later. I'm not sure what order I'm going to put them up in. The 21 Savage, man. It just keeps going from strength to strength to strength. This is flames, literally and figuratively. Twenty one Street, Twenty First Street. This is mad. I can see it now on the front page. New villain in town. There's a new villain in town. This has got to be the best album promo in years. There he is. Morgan and Metro. Fuck. <laughs> You're going down there, right? Lucius Fox. Walk with me. Mate, Morgan Freeman is like a thousand years old and he's still that guy. Will always be and forever that guy. If you never put on a chain again, your place in history is already cemented. You've built a legacy, something people will clearly kill for. But you and I both know that there's far more to being a hero than the glory that comes with it. No, heroism isn't about earning accolades or even defeating villains. It's choosing to risk everything for the people, expecting nothing in return. We all know the city loves its legends, but tonight they need a hero. Which one do you want to be? Awesome. This is awesome. This must have cost a fortune. This is so good.
We need you, Metro. The city needs you. Amazing. May the hero in you prevail. And may you strike fear into the heart of any villain who dares to cross you. But you know what they're saying. If young Metro don't trust you. Motherfucker, you better run. Yeah, drinking dope, turn me to a superhero. Yeah, yeah. Hit that pill, turn me to a superhero. Yeah. Room my 90s, turn me to a superhero. Yeah, Metro. Hit your Metro, don't trust it. I'm in that dope again. I'm in that flow again. Come on, this album. I mean, it fucking sounds amazing. I've been saying for a long time. The Metro Boom, I'm going to pause it for a second. Metro Boomin is one of the greatest electronic musicians in the world. And what I mean by electronic musicians is he uses electronic music to create these beats. You know what I mean? Beyond a producer, beyond anything like that, phenomenal, game-changing, epoch, era-changing artist that has created, along with others, but I think a central point to creating an entire new soundscape, an entire new musical culture over the last probably decade. And here he goes with this cementing himself if the album delivers and i've got no doubt that it will cementing himself as a fucking legend and superhero and the man has been through so much in the past was it year year and a half i'm not quite too sure the timeline of everything awful that's happened to him but damn That was amazing. Shout out Gibson Hazard. Look at the credits, man. I mean, I'm not surprised, but still. Superhero Heroes and Villains featuring Future and Chris Brown. And before that, we had Walk em Down, Don't Kill with uh, 21 Savage and Mustafa. And an Umbrella with 21 Savage and Young Nudie. Bring it on! Listen, shout out to all of you lot for making me react to that and making me watch that before the album because I am fired up now. I don't feel like it spoiled anything as well. And the good thing about my brain is I'll have forgotten all those snippets by the time the album drops on Friday. You know we're going to be here. If you're watching this, no, you've got to be subscribed and notifications on for when the album reaction drops on Friday because you know we get the album reactions out before anybody else. I'm fired up. Can you tell? And subscribe. I already said that. Shut up, John. Peace.